Hi, everybody. It is Eamon here. Welcome to another episode of Pat Monk Presents. Today, we have Sandy joining us all the way from Virginia, USA, and she's coming from Yodo One Games. Welcome to the podcast. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. Um, I can't wait to share it with my company and, you know, family and friends. Um, but I'm doing well. You know, the sun is shining. The spring is in the air. So <laughs> coming out of that slumber from winter. So I'm feeling good. Fantastic. Great, great to hear that. And maybe those who are tuned in or regular listeners who are maybe not familiar with Yoda One Games, can you give us a quick you know, overview, a quick download as it were uh, about the company? We originated in China in 2011. Since then, we have become 100% remote. So we have about 150 employees scattered all around the world. Uh, I think this is just really what makes us incredible. So because of that, our goal is to empower people to build lives they want through mobile games. It's um, pretty magical that we have so many people around the world working with us. It really has opened my eyes culturally. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah, definitely. No, it, sound, it sounds like that. I mean, being, being a part of a global company is definitely, you know, seeing people from different areas. And like with this, um, like in what you're doing, like, is there any specific niches or, you know, how do people end up finding out about Yoda One? I mean, is it right. two different, what, what kind of channels is it, you know, online, is it SEO or how do you get the word out? Right. So like I said, we're 100% remote. So everything we do is online. <laughs> we are 100% completely online, we pretty much aim to simplify mobile game growth. We like to pride ourselves on the fact that we are the one partner that developers and studios need to accelerate their game's growth at every stage in its life cycle. So if you don't know anything about mobile games, that might be a little confusing, but obviously there's all different types of developers from smaller developers to really large game developers, right? Mm -hmm. So we have three different sectors. We have the monetization sector, which we look for more small to mid-sized game studios or game developers, independent mobile developers. And with our monetization, we pretty much help you to monetize your game. We help you to make money through your, your mobile game. Then we have publishing. So we can either offer full stack publishing or a la carte. So when I say a la carte, that means we offer specific services like just UA or just influencer marketing, things like that. Um, with these, with this service, we are looking more for indie, like a little bit bigger indie mobile game developers and studios, as well as established games that are looking to port to mobile. Then lastly, we have our IP licensing business sector. This sector is really cool because we work with huge studios. We work with Crunchyroll, Warner Brothers, Legendary, Hasbro, the list goes on. So if you're looking for IP licensing, usually you are a bigger game developer. You have a pretty big audience, pretty big budget um, and things like that. Fantastic. And like you mentioned some pretty big companies there and, you know, game publishing and different areas within the, the sphere. I mean, when people, let's say, find out about you guys and they go to, you know, Yoda One Games, I mean, how important is your website like taking those visitors and maybe converting them into future clients? Our website is really important, first of all, because First of all, it's beautiful. If you haven't checked it out, go check out I our have, website. I have. <laughs> <laughs> lots, of, lots of little characters <laughs> and uh, stuff right. like that. Um, it's pretty cool because if you are a smaller developer and you're looking for the monetization aspect of our services, you can actually go in and submit your details about your games, like your metrics and things like that. And we can give you a roundabout um, estimate on what we think your game could make with our services. So if you're even just like, you know, on the fence of looking, you can kind of get an idea through our website about what we could offer you. Perfect. And, you know, for those who are listening in, it's uh, you're the one, Y-O-D-O number one dot com uh, uh, to check it out. Uh, personally, I like the the person that looks like they're snowboarding, but flying. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's one game. of our games, Ski Safari. Uh, so. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I'm a snow sports guy, so definitely that would suit me. Uh, so <laughs> Definitely with this and kind of kind of switching gears and talking about more about you, uh, Sandy, you know, as a leader and in, in what you're doing and marketing and like what, what keeps you busy on a day to day basis? 
Right. So I'm actually in the side of marketing our games. So I don't actually market Yoda One. I market our games that we publish. Mm -hmm. I actually am in the I'm head of social media and organic marketing. So I mainly focus again social media and influencer marketing. We've been more investing in that because if you know anything about mobile games and the mobile game industry, the cost of UA is going up mm -hmm. and the conversion rates are going down. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to, you know, adjust for that, find new ways. And influencer marketing is definitely a way that we have found to do this. So we work with YouTubers, Twitch streamers, TikTokers, all of the above. And it's been it's been pretty cool. That definitely keeps me busy as well as, of course, I create content for all of our games um, and for all platforms of all social media. We do streams, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of all of the above. Wow, it sounds pretty full on. <laughs> sounds like you're you're busy, busy in a good way though. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, it gets me up in the morning. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And now that we're coming to one of my favorite parts of the interview, which is our rapid fire questions. So if you're ready to be put in the hot seat, let me know. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> ready, let's do it. So, uh, what was the last book you read or maybe currently reading? Hmm. Actually, the last book I read was. Oh, it's the book about Savannah, Georgia. It's like where the wild fur, I don't know the name of it. I'm not doing good at rapid fire questions. It's the book <laughs> no. about Savannah, Georgia. Perfect. <laughs> it's there on my shelf. Very good, very good. No, no worries. And also, you know, what's the one area that's taking up a lot of your time at the moment? Where, like, where's your main focus going when, when you're the one at the moment? Definitely influencer marketing. We also are looking to expand. So we are, cre I mentioned the a la carte service thing, right? So mm -hmm. we are looking to expand our services, not just full stack publishing. So I've been focusing a lot on that, trying to find people who might need help with social media, influencer marketing, organic marketing, and things like that. Fantastic. And also, I mean, if there was no boundaries in technology, you could snap your fingers and maybe something that's taking up a lot of your time at the moment, if you could have it automated magically, what would that be? Yeah. Um, post to all social media, make all the content. That would be great. Send all my emails. We, you know, AI is obviously huge right now, right? Yeah. And in the mobile gaming industry, we are really trying to push the boundaries of that. So in our company, we are always talking about ways to integrate AI and help us in the day-to-day -day life. So I'm working on it, actually. <laughs> working on making that a reality. There, there we go. There we go. Well, yeah, definitely AI is on the top of everybody's tongue at the moment. And I'm sure a lot of what you said, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before that becomes a reality. And like, imagine you could go back to your first day, your first week, your first month, all over again at Yolo One. I mean, knowing what you know now with your current experience, what would you do differently? Or maybe what advice would you give to yourself? I would give myself a hug and tell myself, <laughs> you got the dream job. Congratulations. Enjoy where you are and enjoy the journey. You will learn so much. I actually went to GDC, which is the Game Developer Conference in March, and it was just the most fantastic experience ever. I learned so much. I got to meet people from all over the world in our gaming industry. So I would just, I would tell myself to enjoy the journey and not to be so stressed out all the time. <laughs> Very good advice. Stress is not good, no matter what yeah. day of the week it is. Uh, right. It'll be okay. It'll, it'll be fine. Just don't stress. Exactly. Chill. So with that, uh, thank you so much for being on the show with us today. I want to give you the last word. I mean, imagine if people forget everything that we just spoke about today. Right. And you wanted them to remember one thing about Yoda One Games. What would that be? Yoda One Games is the one-stop shop for all developers. We pride ourselves on being able to help any developer at any stage of your career, game life cycle, any of the above. So if you have a mobile game and you are interested in any sort of monetization, IP, marketing, anything, give us a call. Fantastic. Fantastic. So there we go. That is it. And like I said, if you want to check um, you out, it's just yodaone.com. And uh, that is it for today. So thank you so much, Danny, for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to join us on the podcast. I'm sure a lot of people get a lot of value out of this uh, call. So I uh, really appreciate that. And uh, for everybody else, 
looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Pat Monk Presents. So from myself and Sandy, all the best and bye-bye.